people think of linguists as merely translators a lot of the time, but there's so many other things that we're capable of. When you roll into a town with a unit, they'll, they'll have their regular civilian interpreter and they'll go up, talk with the village elder's house, and the platoon leader starts talking to them. This one time, I'm just sitting there, sitting back, standing guard, and all the locals are talking, not knowing that anybody understands what they're saying, but we're there. We got our ears open. We're pulling in every single thing they're saying. <laughs> So I went and pulled my commander aside and let him know what I had overheard. And we discovered this spider hole hidden underneath a couch. And they have just loads of weapons and maps and bomb making material and surveillance footage. And Let's check one of these tapes out. What are they talking about? Counting numbers coming in and out. That's our platoon right there. Yeah, that's our base. These are our routes right here we're taking. And because of this information, we were able to track down these guys that were watching our movements and take out the entire cell. In the Army, you'll hear a lot about weaponry, the high-tech munitions we have, the size and power of the weapons. But for linguists, our weapons are a language in our minds. Sometimes language can be more important than bullets. What I do is proof of that.